Good day, Hot Rock and beyond, wherever that beyond may be. I have an exciting word from the Lord for you today and a challenge. I discovered something about him, which you probably already know, but he'll tell us something in the word about himself. And then, he, and then the word will talk about us if we have a problem and then how to apply who he is to our problem. So today I wanna to talk to you about not getting weary and fainting during this time where you're being challenged. And our word is from <clears throat> Isaiah chapter 40. And I know that most of you probably are familiar with uh, this, <clears throat> but it says in verse uh, 28, have you not known, have you not heard the everlasting God, the Lord, the creator of the ends of the earth, he neither faints nor is weary and his understanding is unsearchable. We all know that, right? We say, yes. I know that. <clears throat> and then it goes on and he says, and he gives power to the weak and to those who have no might, he increases strength. Do you need an increase in your strength? He's your answer. But then it says, sometimes even the youth will faint and they'll be weary. <clears throat> but those, <clears throat> excuse me, who wait on the Lord, they will renew their strength. They will mount up with wings like eagles and run and not be weary and walk and not faint. Do you know what it means to wait on the Lord? It was so interesting when I looked it up. It says it's to be bound together like a rope, to really fix your mind on something that is out there. You know it's there. That's waiting on the Lord. Waiting isn't just going, come on, Lord. You know, it's been five weeks already. I got to get out of the house. That's not waiting on the Lord. That's really whining but he'd like us to wait on him. And he said, <clears throat> I don't get weary. <clears throat> I don't faint. So to wait is to bind yourself to him. So I made this little, these little three strings because it's like binding yourself in a rope. This is the Father, Son, Holy Spirit. God's one. I mean, he is so awesome. We got a creator who's the Father who made us just like him in his image and likeness. And then we have Jesus who poured out his life, gave his life. And then we have the Holy Spirit in us. And if this is us, if we bind ourselves to that, if we wind our life up, if we get entwined with the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, who never is weary, who never faints, you won't be weary and faint either because you're all bound up in him. He's gave a, he gave us the solution in who he is when he described himself. He said, I don't get weary. I won't faint. He's not sitting up there on the throne going, oh my gosh, this corona has really got me beat. No, he doesn't get weary. He doesn't faint. And we don't have to either. Stay focused. Stay focused. Choose your thoughts. You know, we may be told a lot of things we can and can't do right now, but nobody has control over what you think. Nobody but you. When you choose to think on who your God is and get in the word and get that word inside. Nobody can change your thoughts. Nobody can change your heart. You can stay entwined. You can stay and not faint. You can stay and not be weary. It doesn't mean you're going to like it, but you're going to be a victor because you stay tied up in him all the time. <clears throat> That's my challenge to you. Stay bound up with him, tied up with him. You won't be weary. You will not faint. You will get through this. And people will say, how come you're not so sad about this? You'll say, well, let me tell you about my God who doesn't get weary and he doesn't faint. We'll see you soon. Good day.